Let's go ahead and take a look at my matchup versus Panther and his Carolina Clefables. Now, Panther has a very scary team that consists of Urshifu Single Strike, Goldingo, Ogre Pong Cornerstone, Iron Bundle, Terra Talonflame with the Terra types Ground and Grass, Latias, Swampert, Weezing, Comfy, and Weird Drear. Wide Drear? Whatever, whatever you want to call it. First off, let's start with our Great Tusk. We are max defense with also max speed. So we do have speed that gold dingo, um, but we're max defense and 16 HP to where uh, mixed where Earth food does not 2 KO us with anything. We are Rocky Helmet because we were going to be uh, booster defense, but we're probably going to see a U turn um, immediately from the Earth food when we switch this Pokemon in since this is our Earth food check. Um, so there's really no point because he can you turn out and then go into his bundle or even um, Ladia, Swamper, um, just Ogre Pond, like just so many different options, so many different options. Next, we're going to go, um, we're going to talk about Rashford, our Grow Ninja with Life Orb, Battle Bond, we are Water Shuriken, Spikes, Dark Pulse, Hydro Pump. This set is a win con for us, like usual. <laughs> That's what it seems Seems like we we're always saying with Greninja and Iron Moth, um, they are our win cons, and it's not going to be any different this week. I'm not going to lie. Um, Water Shuriken is nice for priority for the um, Ogre Pond if it gets out of hand, uh, also for, for the Urshfu, and then also for Talonflame, um, because if it's a Water type or a Ground type, Water Shuriken will be super effective. Um, no grass not because I really don't think grass or I really don't think the um, Swampert can really come into us if it does then that's fine We can just spike up on it probably twice We can also dark pulse that thing if need be next we're gonna go into Luke Shaw our Jorachi with lefties We are call mine three attacks We do not have a good way to hit Urshfu and if the Urshfu is scarf obviously which I think scarf does come into us um, pause the, then Jorachi um, if it's not Scarf, Jirachi can just absolutely put in immense, immense work. But Jirachi is going to be another kind of middle, middle of the game, maybe late game win con if we can deal with our shoe early on. Call mine, like I said, Flash Cannon, Shadow Ball, Energy Ball. This Pokemon is hard to break. Next up, we have Grimstar with Light Clay, Light Screen, Reflect, Crunch, Spirit Break. We are max defense, so we don't get too KO'd by a Poison Jab, I believe, from the Urshifu. Um, Light Screen Reflect is just nice for his hard hitters because he has an Urshifu, a Goldengo, an Ogre Pond, an Iron Bundle, a Talonflame, a Latias. Like, those Pokemon all hit very, very hard. So, this Pokemon also completely walls Latias. If he really, really, really wants to try to take this on, or to try to take Latias on, we do have Crunch, um, and, how, and we have 136 attack, so we always 2 a KO, even if he's max HP and max defense, and I, I just this Pokemon actually put some work this week. Next, Maguire the Hydrapple is making return into the starting lineup. We have Assault Vest, Draco Giga, um, Fickle Beam, and Earth Power. Um, we have a bunch of EVs here. We have enough speed to, I think we're speed creeping a um, Pert, and then, yeah, like a perp and a, oh yeah, I think, I think it's perp, but this Pokemon actually is our dedicated lead because Ogre Pond Cornerstone in Mox, by the way, shout out to John for Mox, um, Ogre Pond Cornerstone just absolutely demolished us. And this Pokemon can wall to an extent, obviously play rough, but I really don't think he can fit play rough. And if he does, he's not going to be doing that much damage to us. And we can Giga Drain into Fickle Beam and kill Giga Drain into Draco. Um, so yeah. This Pokemon is actually our dedicated lead, which is crazy. Um, next, we have our actual Wincon, Iron Moth, Booster Energy, Booster Speed, four attacks. This set just always, in my eyes, can do and put in the utmost work. Um, Fiery Dance, Sludge Wave, Energy Ball, Degleam, Degleam for the Latias, obviously Energy Ball. For the Swampert, Sludge Wave for Stab, and also for the Comfy, and then Fiery Dance for Goldango, for a Terra Talonflame. And also, we can also get the special attack boosts. But quick and easy team builder. But let me know what you guys think about the team in the comments section down below. Um, also, shout out to John, like I said. Shout out to Blazeman and Killa. Um, pretty sure they helped. I'm recording this after the fact. And also a long day at work, so mumbling, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Let's go ahead and get into the match. Let's get this week 5W versus one of our oldest friends in the community, Panther. We see no iron bundle. Good luck, have fun to Panther. Panther is... One of the people that I actually, um, well, John got me in the draft league, but Panther really opened up my eyes to a whole lot of other draft leagues back in the day, a couple years ago. So um, Panther is one of my oldest friends, um, being an age and <laughs> no, being an age and um, how long I've known him. 
Um, but no, good luck of fun, two panther. We see no iron bundle though, like I said. We see a comfy instead. Um, I am not very comfy with <laughs> seeing comfy on my screen. Um, since we see Ogre Pawn, Cornerstone though, we have to lead off with our Hydrapple. Um, in Mox with John, I got absolutely demolished by Ogre Pawn if I didn't lead with my Maguire, our Hydra Hydrapple. But um, yeah, if you did watch Team Builder, uh, make sure you guys watch it. It is right before the match. So I'm assume, assuming if you're here, if you skip Team Builder, you see our team. We are um, Wincon, Iron Moth, like usual, Life Orb, um, Green. And we also have a really cool Calm Mind, Jirachi said, that goes in if the Earth Food can be taken care of. Uh, but yeah, good luck, I found a Panther. Let's go ahead and get this W, guys. We are 3 and 1, so I really want to move to 4 and 1 and become, um, stay in the top 3, I believe. Before we go any further, if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. My end of the year goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers so I can be monetized. Making money off of Pokemon content is the dream, so please help me reach that dream. Good luck, I found a Panther. Like I said, let's get this W. We see a Ogre Pond lead. So, okay, John did predict that and we do get the lead right this pokemon just puts on immense pressure against us um we have to just fickle beam we have to just fickle beam and then we can draco the next turn <clears throat> um if he decides to go hard comfy then we can just get i mean maybe we just giga drain here let's see let's see let's see we do if we get the um 160 base. Do we kill ever? No, so it's not worth it. We're just gonna click Giga Drain here. Um, he does click Spikes. Okay, so Giga Drain into this should kill this guy, or Giga Drain into into Draco should kill this guy. So we click Giga Drain. We're gonna do about half. That is big damage. That is big big damage. And we can just Draco Meteor now. If he wants to get another Spike up, that's fine. We do have Rabbit Spin on the Great Tusk, I believe. We do. We do. Um, so I think I'm okay with clicking Draco here. Um, Fickle Beam says it does 40 to 47. I forgot to put the, uh, I forgot to put the thing on here. Damn it. Um, the, the HP bar. I'm gonna click Fickle Beam right here, actually. No, we're gonna click Draco. We're not gonna risk it. If he decides to switch, that's fine. Um, but we're just gonna click Draco. If he decides to go into something crazy, like the, uh, like, I mean, if he goes Gold Dango, then we get damage on that. We get damage on that. Uh, maybe Fickle Beam was the move. I just didn't want to risk it because it looked like we got a high roll. And if we get a um, if we got a high roll on that Giga Drain, then we get a low roll on the Fickle Beam. We don't kill. So we are going to see a switch. Um, if this is comfy, we probably just switch out. It's going to be Gold Dingo. So we're going to see how much damage we do to this thing. Actually, um, we should be doing about 32 to 38. That looks to be not defensive. That is an offensive Gold Dingo. Okay, cool. Um, we can just go straight into our Greninja, probably. This is one of our ways to deal with this Pokemon. So it's kind of kind of not good that we have to go hard gr that we click Draco there, I'm not going to lie. Um, at minus two special attack, can we Earth Power? No, because you can just recover up. Um, hmm, let's see. Yeah, we do about 30 to 36, but it's not really worth it. Um, we can go Grimstar on this, but if he decides to click the one move, then that sucks. This could be a spec set. If this is specs... He's choice specs. Shadow Ball's gonna be doing about 42 to 50. So we're gonna go into this. I know, crazy switch. We're going hard ninja, but we don't have a switch into this. Um, I could have brought my Snorlax, um, but he has an Urshifu and an Ogre Pond, so I didn't really want to. So we're gonna see how much damage damage he does. Um, hopefully we just see a Mega Rain. Okay, this Mega Rain, if it specs, does more. That does a lot. Um, Let's see, he's minus two special attack now, so we do guarantee live any of any one hit. Um, his switch into this is probably the Comfy. I don't think Comfy wants to take this Life Orb hit, though. I'm not gonna lie. Comfy does not want to take a Hydro Pump. Comfy does not want to take a Hydro Pump at all. I could get my spikes up, but I think I'm just gonna click Hydro Pump here. Um, he really doesn't have a switch into this. Now, he could just sack his Ogre Pond as well, but if he does, then he's giving me um, Battle Bomb boost. So, we're gonna click Hydro Pump here. He does switch. Hopefully this we see a comfy. <clears throat> Hopefully we see comfy. Um, it is comfy. We're gonna see how much damage we do. Hopefully we hit too. That'd be nice. That would be very nice. And we click out the pump. We hit. Let's see how much damage we do. That does a whole lot of damage. Oh my gosh. So, does Water Shirt can go first? Because comfy has the ability... Triage, right? I'm gonna do this other... Increase by three in the priority bracket. Water Shirt can... Usually goes first. I don't know. We didn't test this. We didn't test this. 
So I have to go into my um, Luke Shaw, my Jirachi, because I don't want to risk it. I really don't want to risk it. He doesn't have a switch into this, so he, if he does not click Dream Kiss, and he would have just gave me Battle Bond, I think I... I mean, Sucker Punch on um, Urshifu obviously will probably come out the next turn. He has Brave Bird, Talonflame. I didn't just win, but <clears throat> um, we're going to go ahead and go into this. The spike does suck. Um, he does click Dream Kiss. Okay, cool. cool. Now, the question is... What is his switch into this? Because we could start to call mine. He could go into the um, Talonflame. He could go into the Talonflame, which does, let's see, Talonflame. A Choice Bandit set does a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage, kills us. Um, I'm gonna click, I think I'm just gonna click Flash Cannon here though. Um, because we don't really want to risk anything. He could just give us this Pokemon for whatever reason. If he decides to go Goldango, we can Shadow Ball at the next turn. So we're going to see if the switch into this is Talonflame. Um, it is Goldango. Okay. We can, we can... I mean, I don't think this Pokemon's Scarf. He hasn't revealed an item, though. So maybe I should have Shadow Balled there. Maybe I should have. Um, we're going to see if he is Scarf. We're going to see if he's Scarf because I have to stay in here. I have to stay in here. I mean, he could Shadow Ball. I could call that and go into my Grimmsnarl. I guess that could be the play, actually. But I don't want to start. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I know that's probably safer. Do I lose if I let this go down? He clicks Shadow Ball. He locks himself into Shadow Ball. I can then do what? Go Grimmsnarl. I guess that's what I could do anyways, right? But if he makes it rain and then Grimmsnarl goes down, then I absolutely lose. But we're gonna go. We're gonna stay in. We're gonna click Shadow Ball here. I believe 39 to 46. That looks like it's in range. We're gonna see if he scarf. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. And we do get it off, does this die? This should die. Oh my god, he lives on 1%, guys. Okay, he clicks recover, um, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're gonna see how much he gets back, though. Um, damn, dude, I'm gonna call mine now. I'm gonna call mine, I think, because we live anything. And we can start progressing, because even if he wants to go Urshfu, that's fine. Um, our Hydrapple actually takes it on pretty well, and we have a Great Tusk. So we're going to click Calm Mind here. We're going to click Calm Mind. See what he decides to do. We aren't going to... I'm, I'm going to see what he decides. If he clicks Nasty Plot here, then that's fine, because now we are able to do um, Massive Damage. He could click Recover. He clicks Shadow Ball. This should not do half, depending on... No, yeah, no, we ate that. No Spideff Drop, please. No Spideff Drop. Cool. So what we could do now is Flash Cannon calling the Urshfu switch. Because we do live any one hit, and Flash Cannon would do 57 to 67. So that would be massive damage, massive damage. Um, his switching is probably, it has to just be the Urshifu. And I think that's what he does to force progression, right? Um, I I don't think he thinks I uh, click Psychic type move. If I click Flash Cannon, right? Let me just double check out of this move. Let me just double check. So I don't, I'm not, I'm at 58%, so I do live. Okay. I'm gonna click. I don't think I can risk it. I don't think I can risk it, actually. Mm, I really want to click Flash Cannon, but I'm going to click Shadow Ball. Oh my god, we... Oh my gosh, we're going to see Urshfu come out. Kurt. Kurt is what? The Urshfu, guys, we almost got his ass. Damn it! Damn it, I should have... I, that's correct. I, I did, did notice that um, Panther loves just throwing this Urshfu out. Just love throwing it out um, and letting it take damage. So I should have clicked Flash Cannon there. That's okay, though. We're going to go into our Rocky Helmet Great Tusk. He U-turns. He's taking Rock Rocky Helmet. So that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Because once Urshfu's down, then it looks like Greninja. Or not Greninja. My, um... It's looking like my Jirachi set just can put in an utmost... Put on such a show. So we see U-turn. See if he's protected pads. He is not. He's going to take Rocky Helmet. So that's fine. We're probably going to see a Latias switch. Now, if Latias comes in, a Pokemon is a problem. But we go hard into our Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl walls that thing completely. If he decides to click Iron Defense, we just crunch to get it down. We just crunch. If it's like Iron, or not Iron Defense, um, I believe it gets a defensive, or def ugh, a physical defense boosting move, though? Let's see. Does it get Iron Defense? No. Does it get Cosmic Power? What move does it get to boost its physical defense? I swore, I swear I got something, right? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, I guess it doesn't. So, our, um... 
What was I gonna say? Our Pokemon. What Pokemon am I talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm, Grimstone, Grimstone, Jesus. Chief comes out. Is that the that's the Ogre Pond? Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I live in one hit. Right? I'm at 301. 301, Ogre Pond, Cornerstone. He does uh, I am at 80%. He, if he's Power Whip, he does 77 to 91. I think I'm okay with leaking Rapid Spin here. Obviously, Rocky Helmet is nice for us, but like, and for the Urshfu, but I also have my Hydra Apple, which actually takes on the Urshfu kind of well. Um, the thing is, if this thing clicks, um, uh, what's it called? I want to click Rapid Spin here, but he could also just click the move that boosts your speed. Um, I can't remember. I'm clicking CC though. It is just power up. Oh my god, we have a chance to die. And we do just die. Oh my gosh. That was a roll. Guys, that was a roll. That was a roll. That was a roll. That was a roll. Damn, I can't believe I just gave him that mon. That's crazy. Um, I'm bad at this game. Kills. <laughs> Great tusk. Um, I really did not expect power whip spikes. I expected um, a set. What is that move called where you boost your uh, speed? I can't remember. Um, we can go Greninja here. Because there's no Pokemon that takes on us, actually. And we are going to try to break middle of the game. Um, the move that boosts your speed? What is that move called? What is that move called? What is that move called? Um, now, now it's pissing me off that I can't remember what it's called. Um, Trailblaze. Jesus, Trailblaze. Does this Pokemon die to a Dark Pulse? This, um, Dark Pulse does 49 to 58. I don't think... You have a Dark Pulse switch. And if you go comfy, that's crazy. Because comfy's already low. I think you just give me this Pokemon. I think you just give me this Pokemon. Um, I could just click Hydro Pump, but I think you could also go into Lottie and be a Scarf Lottie. You could also, if you go Urshfu, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. I'm clicking Dark Pulse, though. Um, we're going to see what size I go for. If he goes our Urshfu, that is a crazy play. That is a crazy play, especially after my Great Tusk is gone. Um, we are not playing the best, which is fine. Which is fine. Um, but now our Battle Bond Grin is going to have to, it's at 14%. It has one more hit. I don't even, or it has two hits left. So I can probably kill this and then Water Shirk and something. Yeah. So he's going to switch out. Um, if it's comfy, then I, um, it's Goldango. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So he's going to sack Goldango. So we are going to get a kill and get our Battle Bond off. Um, he should just go into his, uh, comfy though. He should just go into his comfy. He should just go into his comfy. Dies to Grim. I played my Grim very poorly, but I didn't have a switch in a Gold Dingo, so um, it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna see though if Water Shuriken goes first. <laughs> we're, we're gonna see. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. So um, we are going to see though. We are going to see. Let's go ahead and let me see something. Else. Plus one. Plus one. Let me pull the calc away and then look at the Greninja. I think Water Shuriken, Water Shuriken goes first. We're gonna click it. No, it doesn't. Okay, sorry. The calc showed that it went first, so I was like, huh? So die or kills Greninja. Okay. So now what do we do? Is the question. Now what do we do? Um I can go Iron Moth, I think. I really don't think I can win though from this position with Iron Moth. I can go Jirachi um and Flash Cannon. I think is my best bet. Um, the thing is, he okay, actually, hold on. What is his Latios app? Cool, right? So Iron Moth, Latios, Eagleam does like no damage. That's the thing that's stopping my Iron Moth from winning. So, what I have to do, go Jirachi. And he now has no Flash Cannon switch in. Uh, I mean, he has the uh, Talent Flame, which he's saving in the back. So, I think what I do here is I can try to get some damage off on that Talent Flame, or I can also... Make a double, calling the Talonflame coming in. That might be the move. Um, my best bet for Talonflame is to probably go... It's not looking too good for us, I'm not going to lie. Um, maybe the Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl might be the best bet. But if he does just decide to Draining Kiss, he's going to do a whole lot of damage. So, I'm just going to click Flash Cannon here. Um, we haven't revealed our whole set, so we could have a Rock-type move. And Jirachi learns um, Ancient Power, I believe. So, no it doesn't. It learns a rock type move, I think. 
It learns nothing. He is going to switch. We are not playing aggressive at all, guys. We are going to lose this game because we aren't playing aggressive. Um, that's going to be the downfall. That's going to be the downfall of us. We are going to break his um, ill wings, though. So we do actually a decent chunk, which is nice. What is the secondary effect of Flash Cannon? Because we haven't gotten it. What is Serene Grace? Or not what is Serene Grace. I know what Serene Grace does. It's just a difference in chance to lower for death. It doesn't really matter. Um, our, our, our only switch into this is the Grim Snarl. Um, and I think it is to be scared of uh, T Wave on that, but we need to keep our town. We need to keep our Jirachi alive. Um, yeah, we go into our Grim Snarl. We're gonna see what his set is. This is his Terramon with Terra Ground and Terra Grass. So we are about to find out what he decides to do. He shouldn't do that much damage, depending on his spread. If he's a lot of attack, then he can do a KO us. Um, especially since we took a spike, but we can reflect. He does go for us. This might pop us. Oh my god, he gets a crit, guys. What the hell? Gosh, that crit actually matters. That crit matters very much so. Because I'm at 24% now. Um, I don't know how I bring this back. I don't know how I bring this back. Let's think. Let's think. We click reflect here. We click reflect. You have to switch out. You have to switch out fearing T-Wave. He doesn't. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I guess T-Wave is kind of a bad bring. He clicks Flare Blitz again. We should die. We should die to this. Um, we live. See how much that crit mattered? Do you guys see how much that crit mattered? Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Holy crap. Um, I guess I deserve it though because I hacked the shit out of John. <laughs> um, we are just going to click Light Screen. Um, he could be... Yeah, we're going to click Light Screen. Does he have any special mons? Does really matter? Yeah, that's just for um, future whatever. For future, we have Light Screen and Reflect. We'll have Reflect up for seven turns and then Light Screen for whatever. Hopefully he doesn't have Roost. He clicks SD. That's crazy! That's crazy! Panther! Panther! Dude! This Pokemon learns T-Wave. Do you realize that? Oh my gosh, that's crazy play. Panther's making crazy plays, but... <laughs> I can't I can't believe this 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 dude this dude click SD on me. That's a good play I'm I'm more upset at myself, but I just cannot believe he is doing this when I this Pokemon learns to move Thunder Wave um, and also parting shot so Which could have came in this matchup. He clicks Roost now um, Hopefully we don't get burned um, That that would suck. We're gonna click crunch. Hopefully we get a defense drop too. Um, yeah, that does enough damage. Okay, cool um yeah, you have to click. You have to click attacking move here. You have to click attacking move. Um, I just can't believe he's he. <laughs> I just can't believe he did that with with so much confidence. Um, he called my set. I guess um, a defense drop would be nice here. A defense drop would be very nice. No defense drop. That's okay. That's okay. He's just gonna try to stall out this reflect. Um, just fine by me. I really don't have any other thing that I can do here. Um, I am booster speed moth, so that's fine. I can always revenge this guy. So we're gonna click crunch. He's just gonna click roost again. A def can I please get a defense drop? Please, 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 please give me a defense drop. Please. Make story can't roost. No defense drop. That's fine. That's fine. This commentary is really bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm very flustered. I've been playing kind of bad. I don't even know if he's gaining any HP from this exchange. He's just trying to stall out the reflex. So has one more turn. Um, but Iron Moth always revenges. Iron Moth always revenges. So, and then Latias, depending on his set, I mean, like, I think I still lose this game, um, depending on his Latias set. Mm, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Um, a defense drop would be really nice, defense drop would be really nice. Um, let's see, I don't think he's gaining any HP, guys. I don't think he's gaining any. He gets the flame body, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So I guess, <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know, it's okay. Um, we can always, we can always, uh, revenge. So, kill, we revenge with our, um, Iron Moth. Kills Grimstorm. We go Iron Moth. Um, I guess since he was Flame Body, it is crazy we click Crunch that many times, um, and didn't get burnt, so. Um, that is crazy. We did click it, like, six times and didn't get burnt. So, we are Booster Speed. We're gonna speed this thing. And hit this guy with a Sludge Wave. He doesn't... The thing with this is, he doesn't have a great way to take this on, so... Yeah, we're gonna click Sludge Wave. I don't know how we win this game, though. I guess I could click... I can't click... Uh, I could click Fiery Dance. No, just 23 or 28, and I don't want to risk it. Um, to try to get a special attack boost, that actually might be my play. That actually might be my play, but he is at plus two. He is at plus two. Um, Reflect is up, though. Reflect is up. Let's... right? Hold on. 
Reflex is still up, correct? Yes. Um, we are going to click Fiery Dance and hope we get a special attack boost. That's the goal. Um, if he decides to go into Ogre Pond and we get a special attack boost, that'd be awesome as well. He wants to sack this Pokemon. Um, which could happen, but we should live this regardless. He's going to Trastalize, okay? Into the, what, ground type? Oh gosh, oh gosh, I may have, I may have messed up. I may have, oh, it's grass type. Okay, never mind, we kill, we kill always. Cool. Oh my gosh, I got really scared there. I got really scared. I don't think that the terror really mattered. Can we please get a boost? Please get a boost, please, 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 please. Dies to Iron Moth, give me a boost. Let's go, I get a boost. I don't know if that's like me winning because Latios still doesn't. If Latios is max HP, I do. 72 to 85. If he's not, we have a chance to kill. If he's not, we have a chance to kill. Um, so that is our out right now. We cannot really, we can't really switch out anyways. If he's Scarf Urshifu, which is definitely, um, we outspeed actually. <laughs> I forgot we got the speed boost. Um, we still have a light screen up as well. Does this actually live any move? Hold on, I forgot we still had a light screen up. Hold on. We do. Oh my gosh, actually. Iron Moth may be able to, depending on what he goes into right now, may be able, if he's, so he goes into Latias. I don't know if he knows I have ice cream up still. Um, right? Let me, yeah, I still have two turns. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We click D-Gleam. We click D-Gleam. We're going to see how much damage to do. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's going to put me in range of Sucker Punch, though. But if he has Scarf Urshifu, if he has Scarf Urshifu, that doesn't matter, right? I don't think he'd be Scarf Sucker Punch. We click D-Gleam. Let's see if we kill. We don't. That's okay. We get a crit. That did a lot of damage then. He looks Psy Shock. Even, I think with Reflect Up, we should be okay. We should be okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. We eat. We eat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think crit mattered because we would have two-hit KO'd anyways. Um, I think I'm going to click Fiery Dance to see if I can get another boost. I don't think it really matters. Um, he was like max HP. He was a very bulky, very bulky. Um... We are, yeah, I'm, yeah, we're just going to click Fiery Dance, see if we can get another boost. I don't think it really matters, but if we can, that'd be sweet. That would be very dope. Do we? Do we? We do. Let's go. I don't know how much that really matters, depending on if he has Sucker Punch on Urshifu. So, dies to Iron Moth. Um, either way, I have to stay in, though, to it. So, if I had sub, that would have been nice, but I really needed all four of my moves. Um, yeah, he's going to go into this. I think, I mean, like, okay. Now that Latias is gone, can I switch out? Do I still beat Talonflame is the question. Can I beat Talonflame? That's what that's what's going to really, really, really... That's what it's going to come down to is because my um, Hydrapple... My Hydrapple set, I can live. I can live... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Um, we are just going to click Fiery Dance. See if he Sucker Punch. Oh my gosh, she's not Sucker Punch. Let's go. Let's go. Iron Moth kills this. Oh my gosh. Let's go. He was Scarf. Dies to... We get another boost. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, dies to Iron Moth. I think that's game. Um, that should be wraps. Oh my gosh. Iron Moth sweep. Let's go. Let's go. I really didn't think I had this game, guys. I'm not going to lie. I got lucky with the special attack boost. But I think with Light Screen, I don't know if it really mattered. I think I took a KOD the way. We'll have to see. Um... We are just going to click Fiery Dance again. This thing should drop our plus three special attack. Um, Iron Moth putting in the work and brought the game back for me. Let's go. Um, another boost. Oh, my God. Another boost. Dies to Iron Moth. Um, the first boost is all that matter. I really didn't need any more boosts, but oh, my gosh. Iron Moth, I love you. I love you so much. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're going to see how much damage I did real quick. Real quick. Um... We're just gonna click fiery dance. We're gonna see how much damage we did um, to the Latias. If he's max HP, max but def, ooh, we did we didn't do a lot of damage, so we really did need that special attack boost the first time. So the first one did matter um, that we got the special attack boost, but other than that, all of these other ones don't matter. Do we get another one? That would be insane. That would be insane. But um, dies to. Oh, I forgot we killed the talent flame already. GG's to Panther. Um, sorry, I'm all over the place. I didn't. I did not expect to win that game. The special attack boost from the fiery dance from the Iron Moth made it to where I won that game. That is crazy. My boy 
Anthony, the Iron Mouth brought us that game back. If you guys did enjoy, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I do want to apologize for my commentary. It was all over the place. Um, I, this is this game was played late. Um, my weekend was super, super busy. So I haven't played a match in a while. But um, yeah, like I said, GG's the Panther. Make sure you guys check him out. He's a great person. Get him back up to 500 subs. He is back into uploading and um, doing Pokemon content. So yeah, that's going to be for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys later.